Hi and welcome to another video here on my channel UiPath with Yebe. In this video, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the UiPath certifications and I'm also going to tell you how you can win a certification test for the Advanced Developer Certification. The voucher that you can win is good for one attempt. So if you win the voucher, I would recommend that you actually do study for the test. And the voucher is good until August 31st of this year. So in about six weeks, it'll expire. So let's not delay any further and let's get to it. So I'm a huge advocate and fan of the UiPath Academy. The UiPath Academy is a website where you can take a lot of different uh, training courses within UiPath, ranging from the very beginner stuff to advanced uh, document understanding, machine learning stuff. This site really has it all. If you go into the site and then go to the certification page, you'll see that it describes the two certifications and the description format for both certifications is the same. So we're going to scroll past this, the uh, associate certification, which is the easier of the two certifications and go down to the UiPath Certified Advanced RPA Developer Certification. This is the big one. And this is the one that you can win a test attempt for. So in this page, what you have are a couple of different resources. You have what is called the exam description document. And if we open that, we can see that it basically opens a PDF and inside of that PDF is a description of all of the different things that you need to be familiar with in order to pass the test. It also tells you what version of UiPath the exam is targeted at and, and you will basically need to read through this document and make sure that you really understand the different things that are in the test in order to pass it. The main difference between this, the advanced developer and the associate test is that the advanced developer focuses a lot on the robotic enterprise framework and it also goes into a little bit more detail on other stuff. So the advanced developer is definitely more difficult. So you should definitely take the associate developer first and then try out the advanced developer afterwards. So if we close this document again and go back to the page, what you can also do is take a free online practice test. And I'm not going to open that because you have to register and stuff like that. But basically it's a short version of the test where you get a feel for the level of difficulty in the actual test. And it will also tell you how well you did. So if you're acing this practice test, there's a fairly good chance that you might do well on the real test. So make sure you go in and take the practice test before you register and take the real test. Otherwise you might get into trouble. There's also an advanced RPA developer learning plan, and this is a link to basically another page in the academy. And what you have in this page are courses that will help you become familiar with all of the stuff that was in the document that we saw just a minute ago. And there's a lot of material in here. We can see here that the total sum is around 80 hours of learning you'll probably be able to complete it a lot quicker than that. But there is a lot of material here and most of it is really, really good. It's definitely worth looking at. As you can see, I haven't taken any of these, but that's because I took them in a different account than the what we're watching uh, the website in now. I have actually taken all of these, believe it or not. So the learning plan is really, really good. And there's also a learning plan for the associate developer exam. That is about, if I recall correctly, about half the size of this one. And if you complete the associate learning plan, there's a lot of stuff that overlaps and that will reduce the time that you will then have to spend doing the advanced uh, learning plan. And if we go back to the certification page and then scroll down to the advanced developer certification, we can see that there's one more button left and that is the schedule your exam button. That will take you to Pearson View. And Pearson View is the company that is responsible for actually administering the test. Once you've completed the test and hopefully passed the test, you will be given a profile on what is called the Cert Metrics website. And in the Cert Metrics uh, website that we see here, after having passed the exam, you can go in and fill out your profile that is in the demographics section here. I'm not going to show you that because that has my address and stuff like that in it. It'll also show you your certification history. And if I log into the site here, we can see that I've taken a number of these tests, including the current advanced and associate developer exams. I took those in September and November of 2021. And then there are the old legacy tests that were free. And I took those back in 2019 and they're still in here. If we go to the badges section, we can see that we have these uh, credential badges. And if we click those, we can uh, see the logo. There's a short description of what this certification is all about. This page is more or less useless, I think. Uh, more interesting is the certifications page because in here you can actually download your certification certificate. So if I click, for example, the PDF certificate for the advanced developer exam here, we can 
see that the file downloads and if I open it, we can see my very nice UiPath certification exam diploma. Also, what you can do is you can download logos. And if you click the logo link here, basically it'll show you what files do you have available for download. If I take the advanced RPA developer exam, it's going to download a file that's about three megs. If I open that, uh, then I have a couple of folders in here with different uh, file formats uh, containing the files in different versions for both digital use and for print use. They are basically high resolution versions of the logos that we saw in the badges page. And if we see here, we can see that it's in really high resolution. And that's nice if you want to put it on a resume or on a website or something like that. There are some guidelines you need to follow in order to use these logos. And I'm not going to get into that. Once you pass the certification test, you will be able to share your transcript or your certifications with other people like a third party. If you go to the transcripts page here, we can see that I have a transcript that people can view. If I click view here, this uh, basically tells us that I, Yeppe Jesperson, my name is in here twice, the address of our company, uh, and what certifications I've taken. This is basically a validation that I have taken these certifications and any third party can go and see this without being logged into the site. If I log out, and I have a, a page ready here, actually, where basically if you go to certmetrics.com slash UiPath slash public slash transcript.aspx and paste in my transcript ID and hit submit, it's going to show you my transcript. So if you send the transcript ID to, for example, a potential employer, they are able to go into this website and validate that you are in fact certified. But I'm guessing this is not why you are here. You are here to win this exam voucher. This has a value of 200 US dollars. It is good for one attempt at the UiPath Certified Advanced RPA Developer exam. And the voucher itself um, tells you what to do. There are links in it so that you can go and register for the exam. You will need the voucher number that is listed here, but that you cannot see because then you would just steal it because I would if I were you. <laughs> uh, but, but of course, when I send the voucher to the winner, he or she will be able to see the actual voucher number and register for the exam. Again, it is valid until August 31st of 2022. So make sure you're ready by that date and register and take the test by that date. So what do you need to do in order to win this voucher? All you have to do is send me an email. And the email is listed on the screen here. It is UiPath with Yebe, just like my channel, at outlook.com. Now you need to send me this email from your work email address. I'm not going to use that work email address for anything else except for sending the voucher to the winner. So send an email from your work email including your name, because then I will put your name in a big head and draw a winner. And when I do announce the winner, I will also send this PDF to that mail address. The deadline for the draw is July 26th. So two weeks from today when I publish this video on July 12th. So make sure you uh, like this video and share it with your friends. Make sure you uh, also subscribe to my channel. Good luck with this contest. Make sure you send an email to uipathwithyebe at outlook.com from your work email address, including your name. And then I will put your name in the hat and hopefully you will be the winner. Good luck with it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.